there is a very large portfolio of small and medium enterprises policies. The reason behind it is that the competitiveness of the European Union is rooted on the creativity of the small and medium enterprises. If we are just looking at uh, the research and innovation dimension, we have in the agency that I represent, solely this one, we have already a program that helps small and medium enterprises to become more competitive at world level and internationally. It is called COSME, but doesn't really matter. It mobilizes hundreds of millions of euros to help those medium and small and medium enterprises. But if we look at the possibility for the small and medium enterprises to cross that gap that exists between becoming small and medium enterprises and developing itself to become a big enterprise really. Very often what we see is that the market is not willing to engage money with the small and medium enterprises. To respond to this, we have developed a program which is equivalent to the small business enterprises of the United States, but we did it better. We did it better because we are looking at small and medium enterprises that are alone, that can develop a product at a certain phase of their, of, of their deployment, and then afterwards be able to contact the European Bank of Investment or any other investors that would be willing to work with them on a one by one. So it would be good for venture capitalists, it would be good for banks, it would be good for everyone. That's what the European Union is doing. It contributes to 7% of one of our big budget, which is around 18 billion euros for seven years. And we hope that it will make a big difference. This program we're also uh, uh, responsible for in the agency where I work. But in addition to that, I would like to say that in the research and innovation, we tend to invest 20% of all of our money for the small and business enterprises. So in a nutshell, for small and businesses, we are doing an unprecedented effort to try to mobilize the forces, the creativity, and try to respond to the expectation of the small and business enterprises in Europe. Let's hope that in a few years we'll be able to conclude that it made a difference, it created jobs, and it created an economical value that will help Europe to, to grow even further. For me, I've been coming here and looking at the Genius Project, and I have to say first that I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed simply because they do product the stuff. It's not talking about producing something in the future, it's right here behind us. And that product can be tested, can be exploited, can provide new production, can open new markets, new avenues for new markets. And in that regard, it is rare and it is always a satisfaction to see people that have in mind an impact, that have in mind a production, deployment of a product, and make something new that can grow. Will it grow? Will it not grow? This is a different matter. But it has all the potential to make something different on that market. And that's what I bring back from this genius project. So I'm very satisfied, very pleased. We invested some sort of money from the taxpayer, but it is well used. <laughs>